I invite you to turn with me this evening to Genesis chapter 24, as together we continue on in the Word of God in the book of Genesis. We have up until now, for quite some time, in fact since Genesis chapter 12, we've been um, talking about Abraham and his family, how Abraham was called uh, first from Ur of the Chaldees and then away from uh, the, uh, the city of Haran where his family dwelt and then down into Canaan, the promised land, which the Lord said would be given to him and his descendants in the fullness of time. And he was also given many other precious promises, amongst them that the blessing of the nations would come from his seed, that not only would a mighty, a mighty nation uh, come from him, one that could not be numbered, but also that uh, he would be the source of the redeemer, uh, the seed who would crush the head of the serpent. And so we're going to see that unfold. We're coming very close now to the end of Abraham's life, but we're going to see what happened uh, as the, uh, the line of the patriarchs now goes down to Isaac, his son. But before we read about that, let's go to the Lord and ask for his blessing. Please join me. God, our gracious Father, we are so thankful for the way that you have provided for our needs by giving us uh, a sure testimony of your work in history. In the Bible, we have a record of your workings amongst men. We see the fall and then we see the building up to the solution to that fall, the sending of your son, Jesus Christ. And even here in Genesis, we see the bloodline of Jesus being established. And we are thankful, O oh Lord, that you have not left us in the dark as to how to be saved. You have shown us the way of the Messiah and how.